Hey folks, Joseph Rampoli here at AWE TV, and I am here with some special winners. Uh, I'm hanging out with Liza Gear and also with David Lee, and they are the winners of the hackathon numero uno. So guys, tell us about this exciting thing that took place. Yeah, so it was a hackathon at uh, Augmented World Expo. Started on Monday, we had about 24 hours to hack, and some of the people that we never met, uh, we just got together, came up with an idea, we actually changed an idea in the course, and uh, we just built something um, very useful for people, and I guess people liked it, and we were selected to be the number one uh, hack um, this year. Awesome. Now, Liza, do you understand the importance of what you're holding? Do you understand what an Augie means? I do now. I didn't before, but I do now, and am highly honored to receive the Augie. This is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> Well, let me tell you something, and uh, the Augie is like the Academy Awards of an augmented technology. It really, it really is. It is like one of the highest honors, so I highly recommend that you, like, wherever you go, you carry it and show everybody because it is the, it is the ultimate accomplishment. So tell us a little bit about your project, and I know you switched gears to, to, to get the, um, you know, to get your project the uh, HUD how to, but tell us how the project worked. Um, so first, I, we, we came here with an idea to develop user experience paradigm for the HUD device. Meaning that like right now, if the designers wants to build something, they don't know what to look reference to, right? There's nothing out there. So why don't we build a library so developers and designers can put together a simple prototype so they can build application. Really good idea, really hard to execute in a hackathon because there was no one focused things to build. So every, I saw that people were struggling to come up with like, you know, um, code and like a design. So we said, hey, let's stop this. Let's step back and see what the problem is. The problem is there was no focus. So we just decided, hey, then let's go with something that has does one thing very well and let's just try to figure it out and we start brainstorming and we just came up with this idea. Awesome. So, Liza, what were some of the things that you were, uh, you know, doing as, as this was going on? Obviously, you guys are really tired. It's like a, like, you know, 24-hour thing. I mean, you're drinking a lot of uh, Red Bull, I take it. A lot of coffee. I don't drink Red Bull, but a lot of coffee. I think I've been surviving on coffee for the last four or five days now. <laughs> uh, hopefully you got some sleep. So are you guys going to move, where are you going to move from here? Is this something that you're going to kind of keep this team together? I mean, obviously you've done some amazing things in a short period of time. What is your plan from here? We're definitely planning on keeping the team together. We got an amazing response from the people coming by and actually checking out the app. Um, and we had several people that were interested in industrial use case scenarios already. And so I think we really have to move forward with it, just given the amount of response that we got already. Awesome. David, last question to you is, um, you know, with this whole thing taking place in 24 hours, I mean, the bottom line is, is that you put together this project that can turn into really a moneymaker and it, and there's a real tangible need for what you created. So um, is this something that, you know, you're going to build upon and can you, can you monetize this concept, you know, within 24 hours? Yeah, so um, I, we believe the manual, like, you know, industry is pretty big. Uh, if you look at a company like IKEA, I'm sure they spent hours, hours making this uh, beautiful manual. And IKEA is probably one of the only examples who does a really good job at it. If you look at other camera or print up um, manual, poorly designed, but uh, you know they spend a lot of hours on it. So I think we can, if we go after this type of, like, you know, enterprise client and tell them that call center, um, there's call center volume will go down and a call center time will go down with those type of KPI. We believe that we can actually um, um, accomplish something greater than a, just a little hack right now. Awesome. Well, congratulations, guys, and we hope to see you back next year and see you continue and probably be holding two orgies be awesome. the, the way these go. So best of luck to you guys. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Okay, guys. Yep.